Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner and the Alma Mater. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs burst still there. Whoa, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of song. Proud are we for thee and prouder that to Lancaster we belong. School days filled with joy and laughter soon will be a memory. May they teach us to be braver as we face our destiny. Hail to thee, our alma mater. Help us now to prove our worth as we strive to do the honor. Garden spots of all the earth through the years of foes discerning red and black our flag will fly or the best in sports and learning hail to the Makaski High. <laughs> Please be seated. Tonight, the teachers, staff, and administrators of John Pearsall McCaskey High School wish to welcome to this graduation ceremony members of the school board, Dr. Rita Bishop, superintendent, parents, family members, guests, and students. It is my pleasure to open the 72nd commencement exercises and to recognize the importance of this occasion. On this occasion, we come together as a school family to honor members of the class of 2006 and their accomplishments. Some students in this class 
have achieved outstanding academic records. Others have delighted us with dramatic performances and musical such as Maine. Some students excelled in athletics and won regional, state, and national awards. Some students have put in long hours of community service, including those who traveled to Biloxi, Mississippi to help victims of Katrina. And some students have lightened our day with a smile and a kind word. On this occasion, we acknowledge the work it has taken to bring us to this evening without the extraordinary commitment and dedication of the McCaskey faculty, we would not be here tonight. We are especially grateful to the teachers who are retiring this year for their many years of service. On this occasion, students, as you walk across the stage, your parents and friends will recall the days you struggled to complete assignments or to make it through difficult courses. They will remember times when you were upset or depressed and had to be encouraged to go to school or to finish the senior project. Tonight, they will feel a mixture of happiness, sadness, and most of all, great relief that you are now finishing high school. On this occasion, teachers and administrators say farewell to the class of 2006 as they leave to take their place in the world. It is our wish for you, as Henry David Thoreau once said, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Tonight, you will be hearing the thoughts and reflections from three students who are members of the class of 2006. These students won their spot on the stage tonight as a result of auditions. The first student we will hear from tonight is Miss Allison Ortiz. Please welcome Miss Ortiz. parents and principals, school board representatives and the superintendent, faculty and friends, and most importantly, fellow graduates of the class of 2006. Unfortunately, for most of you sitting behind me in your red and black robes, fellow graduates of the class of 2006 is the only thing that I know what to call you. We really don't know each other. But here are three things I think that I can safely say that I know about all of you. First, you have graduated from McCaskey, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here tonight. <laughs> Second, I know that your journey will not end here. We're going places. We're going to college, trade school, nursing school, or cosmetology training. We're joining the military and we're seeing the world and we're getting jobs and taking care of our families. Finally, at some point in your journey you didn't think you would have made it this far be it a teacher whose class you never believed you would pass, a friend who drove you crazy, or a family who drove you up a wall, some, some unforeseen situation, or simply yourself in the ongoing struggle for self-acceptance and self-discovery. But some things, like a high school diploma, are well worth the fight. We as people, as representatives of our generation's voice, have a duty to join the fight to put an end to mediocrity, to average performance, and spice life up a bit. Be the best that you can at whatever you can and succeed where you think you'll fail. Live your life to the fullest because you never know when it will be taken away from you. All of us know people who have died. Friends, classmates, colleagues, acquaintances, nameless faces who are barely recognizable in these halls, 
great motivators who pushed us to be great, even when we ourselves refused to believe in our own abilities, and people we didn't think that we cared about, or people that we took advantage of while they were alive, until one day we wake up and they're gone. But for as long as all of you live, do not live in regret. Whatever you do, act like you intended to do it all along and fight for it, or with it, or against it, whatever the case may be to the very end. Anything worth having is worth putting up a fight for. And if you're not willing to fight for what you believe in, you'd better reassess how much you believe in it in the first place. Lazy people can't move mountains or start revolutions or even be heard. Just imagine how different our lives would be here tonight if the original colonists decided to let England push them around because they didn't feel like fighting back. Take a challenge every now and then just to liven things up some because no one wants to live in a mundane, routine, boring life day in and day out. Don't make it something ridiculous or dangerous like, like deep sea diving into shark infested waters wearing nothing but a steak necklace. <laughs> but if it's interesting and it's something that you're into, then why not go for it? Then you'll eliminate asking yourself what if for the next 30 years of your life because that's no way to live either. But honestly, very few of you behind me know me and I don't know that many of you. But here are some things that I hope you would take away from me and from McCaskey in general. There's no such thing as a good average unless it's fought for and is hard earned. The best things in life, hey, they involve a bit of a battle. All of you should strive to be the best that you can and live each moment as if there's not going to be another because none, nobody knows when there won't be any more moments left in their lives. <laughs> Thank you and good luck in reaching all of your stars and being a valuable warrior in the fight against mediocrity. Good evening, everyone. Members of the Board of Education, J.P. McCaskey and the School District of Lancaster administrators, faculty, parents, relatives and friends of the graduating class, and members of the class of 2006. As the past president of the Rotary Club of Lancaster, I am happy to have the privilege of presenting the Dr. Harvey A. Smith Award. For many years, Dr. Smith was the superintendent of the School District of Lancaster, in which he served with this, this distinction until his death. Dr. Smith was the president of the Rotary Club of Lancaster in the years 1952-53. Over 30 years ago, an anonymous donor contributed a liberal sum of money to the Rotary Club of Lancaster to establish the Dr. Harvey A. Smith Memorial Award. The income from the fund makes possible the yearly Dr. Harvey A. Smith Award to a member of the graduating class of J.P. McCaskey High School. Provisions of the trust state that a senior class and faculty shall select the recipient of the award. It is further stated that the controlling consideration in the selection of the student are to be those qualities of selfless service to the school community and its students which Dr. Smith demonstrated to the civic community and to its citizens. These qualities incidentally coincide with the ideals of Rotary and Rotary's motto, service above self. Therefore, the award has a twofold purpose. One, to recognize the student outstanding in qualities similar to those demonstrated by Dr. Smith, and two, to help perpetuate Dr. Smith's name as one of Lancaster's distinguished educators. It is my pleasure now to announce the student selected for this year's award is Arlene Arroyo. And if Arlene could step forward here. Congratulations, Arlene. Uh, the uh, certificate reads, the Harvey A. Smith Award presented this eighth day of June, 2006, by the Rotary Club of Lancaster uh, to Arlene Arroyo, who in the opinion of classmates and faculty of J.P. McCaskey High School, best exemplifies selfless service to the school community and its students, high standards of conduct and pride in being part of the high school. 
Signed, Nicholas E. Downey, past president of the Rotary Club of Lancaster. And I also have a check for $750 for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Good evening. The highest social studies award honors the memory of Clarence M. Ebersole. Uh, Mr. Ebersole was for many years a teacher of social studies at McCaskey and later the chairman of his department. Upon his death, his family instituted this award. In 1986, the award was increased by a benefactor in the McCaskey community. Three years later, in 1989, the award was further increased by a contribution from two social studies faculty members. The Ebersole Award is given to an outstanding senior who has demonstrated uh, superb work during his or her high school career. Uh, the beneficiary of this prestigious award is also one who exemplifies the high standards of character and citizenship that Mr. Ebersole tried to instill in all of his students. The winner of this award is, must apply by writing an essay and receiving a reference from a teacher. Then the social studies department elects the winner by a majority vote. <clears throat> and many outstanding McCaskey alumni have won this award, like our own adored social studies teacher, Mrs. Nancy Val. <clears throat> On a more personal note, I've known this and taught this student for three years, initially as a freshman in honors modern American history. Later, as a junior in the first of two international baccalaureate classes, the history of the Americas, and most recently, the IB 20th century topics. I cannot think of a more engrossed and inter interested student. Uh, this year's recipient is one who is capable of completing strenuous tasks as is required for this award. This year's recipient is an exceptional person who is capable of prioritizing tasks working collaboratively with others, utilizing interpersonal skills, public speaking, and writing. Outside of the classroom, I've also witnessed this student in many activities. Uh, this year's recipient has toiled in multiple spring musicals, vocal ensemble, and a swim team. All references coming from directors, teachers, and coaches have been positive. In this case, I would expect nothing less. This year's recipient has also completed 695 credited community action hours, which in other words is community service, and is one of 11 IB diploma candidates. It gives me great pride to bestow the Clarence M. Ebersole Award to Tyler Kreider. Tyler's furthering his education in Montreal and Canada at McGill University. Wish him luck. Good evening. The John Pearsall McCaskey Award began in 1940 when a group of McCaskey's former students, known as Jack's Boys, established an award to honor their former teacher when the new J.P. McCaskey High School was dedicated. It was combined in 1961 with funds from scholastic awards established by former students in 1926 in honor of Dr. McCaskey's 89th birthday. The award is now given annually to a member of the graduating class who's shown an interest and proficiency in English and American language and literature. Its purpose is to encourage male students to strive toward excellence in the subjects in which Dr. McCaskey was particularly interested. Students considered for this award submit writing samples, respond in a timed essay to a writing prompt, and must display an extraordinary academic record in the communication arts. It's with great pride and considerable happiness that I announce the recipient of the J.P. McCaskey Award for Excellence in the Communication Arts to Nathaniel Zorak.
Good evening. During the 1970s, it was felt by members of the English department that a companion award to the J.P. McCaskey Award for Excellence in English should be established in order to recognize an outstanding female English student in the graduating class. After careful consideration, this award was named in honor of Miss Catherine Buckwalder, who retired in 1974 after 40 years of teaching English in the School District of Lancaster. Ms. Buckwalder was a mentor to many of us who have returned to our alma mater to teach English. The Buckwalder Award honors Catherine Buckwalder's memory and recognizes the influence she had in inspiring excellence in her students in the study of literature and the English language. This award is given annually to a female member of the senior class who has demonstrated extraordinary proficiency in the use of the English language an extraordinary understanding of and appreciation for literature. I am very honored tonight to present this award for her excellence in communication arts to Amy Nitchman. Good evening. I'm Dwight Nolt, the principal here at J.P. McCaskey High School. I have the honor to recognize three groups of students tonight. First of all, starting out with those that are international baccalaureate diploma candidates. Uh, these students take rigorous courses here at the high school in pursuit of that diploma. I'm going to read the students' names, and students, when I read your name, please stand up, and we will hold our applause until the whole group is standing. Danielle Anelli Bentoncourt, Justin C. Brown, Joel Leonard Coble, Tabitha Dawn Cockrell, Catherine M. Cruz, Sarah Kathleen Ecklin, Adriana Gonzalez. Tyler Matthew Kreider, Raju Rayavera Pugh, Samantha Ashley Wilson, Nathaniel Zorak. Please recognize the International Baccalaureate Candidate. Students, you may be seated. The next group of students are recognized for their high academic achievement here at McCaskey. These are students that have achieved a 4.5 or higher in a GPA or the grade point average. For these students, I will also read the names. Students, please stand and audience, please hold your applause. Daniel P. Adams. Anna Bajarano Vuele, I'm sorry. Ruth Castro Megret. Tan Duck Chong. Tabitha Dawn Cockrell. Eric James Dietrich. Christopher DeSanctis. Kai Nai Dung. Dariana. Valdez, Sarah Kathleen Ecklin, Sarah El Mumui, Kristen Blaine Gilead, Brian W. Hamilton, Elizabeth C. Y. Hannigan, Emily E. Barra, Maita Jorge Cazulos. Benjamin D. Carl, Tyler Matthew Kreider, Brianne N. Martinez, Aaron McCullough, Kylie Lucinda Morris, Linda Lon Wynn, Amy 
Michelle Nichman, Allison M. Ortiz, Raju Rayaverapu, Alice, I'm sorry, Carlos Manuel Sanchez, We T. Tian, Melanie Elaine Tober, An Tian Tron, Rosemary Van Unen, Samantha Ashley Wilson. Please recognize the students receiving high honors. Students, you may be seated. The third group that I have to honor tonight are those receiving honors. These are students that received a 4.0 to a 4.5 grade point average while they were here at McCaskey High School. Once again, students, as I call your names, please stand and we will hold our applause as before. Erica Augusto. Alejandro Alfado. Ryan Paul Alamodvar, Olga Barron, Dominique Clemens Benzel, Danielle and Nelly Bentoncourt, Justin C. Brown, Holden Brubaker, Evan Paul Cagwin, Liza Marie Chappelle, Todd Chin. Catherine M. Cruz, Joan Cullen, Nicole Ewing, Suzette Garcia Lewis, Adriana Gonzalez, Ashley Marie Gray, Frank David Hernandez, Giuliani Iraguirre Valdez, Nicolette Key Bibi, Andrew A. Krishan, Jessica M. Lapp, Felix Lemisi Lebu, Nicole Catherine McAnany, Lauren E. McCarty, Jessica Molina, Tatiana J. Morales, Osman J. Ori, Philip C. Payonk, Amanda Lynn Rainier, Lindsay A. Robinson, Louis A. Salazar, Zachary Neal Snyder, Alexia Raquel Torres, Megan E. Wagner. Please recognize those students receiving honors. Students, you may be seated. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Damaso Albino, and I am um, one of the assistant principals at McCaskey East High School. Uh, at this moment, I have the privilege of recognizing three different groups of students, and I'm going to ask Mr. Jack Vio, assistant principal of J.P. McCaskey, to please assist me. Uh, the first group of students that we're going to recognize are the 2005-2006 class officers. And we have for each one of these students a medallion as a token of our appreciation. As I mention your name, please step to the front. And audience, please hold your applause until all of them are up here in the front. Um, we have class president Ashley Marie Garcia. Co-vice presidents Aaron McCullough and Erica Santana. Uh, treasurer, Timothy Mercandetti. Secretary, Grace O'Leary. Representative to the school board, Erin McCullough. Delegate, Irvin Rivera. 
co-participation activities coordinators Marisol Renee Dixon and Nicole Ewan. Let's recognize the class officers of 2006. Thank you. You may be seated. The second group or set of students that we'd like to recognize is our foreign exchange students. These students have honored us with their presence during the, this school year. I am going to mention each one of their names. As I mention your name, I request that you please step forward. We have a token for each one of you. It is a flag that was uh, flown over the United States Capitol and also a book of Lancaster County so they can remember us by. The first person, please step up, is Valeria Almeida Suarez, and she's from Ecuador. Second person is Mohammed Al Sharif Al Shamam from Yemen. <laughs> Zara El, El Ma Ma Maohi from Morocco. Sorry about that. Rosemarie Van Unum from the Netherlands. <laughs> and last but not least, Ana Bejarano Buele from Ecuador. <laughs> Let's Let's recognize our foreign exchange students. Thank you. You may be seated. The third set of students that we're going to be recognizing are those students that are involved in our early college enrollment programs, our dual enrollment programs. These students have been taking college courses while they've been here at McCaskey High School. They've been taking classes at places like the Stevens College of Technology, the Harrisburg Area Community College, Millersville University, Penn State University, Lancaster General College of Nursing and Health Careers, and Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. And there's uh, quite a few of them, so I'm going to ask each one of you students, as I mention your name, to please stand. I'm going to ask the audience to please hold your applause until we mention all of them. Jose Chico. Todd Chin. Bridley Colbreth. Michael Francis. Dane Frederick. Bruce Geter Richards. Lisa Lapp, Miguel Margarito, Richard Maust, Urien Nelson, Joshua Shelley, Jordan Tony, Andrew Verkow, Rashmi Nguyen, Erica Agosto, Jesenia Collado, Ashley Eby, Denisha Gantz, Patricia Guerrero, Audrey Munoz, Amy Nichman, Mariceli Perez, Vanessa Pino, Michael Quinones, Irvin Rivera, Liz Rivera, Camis Rodriguez, Ruth Rodriguez, Linda Saucas, Daisha Stewart, Grace Leary, Elizabeth Alfonso, Brian Hamilton, Jessica Lapp, Anne Tran, Adam Costello, Joan Collin, Shannon Keefe, 
Philip Pionk, Ahmad Akhmadov, Alejandro Alfaro, Ruslan Bashtartov, Andrew Bender, Jasmine Blackman, Shania Brown, Amber Costley, Nakima Hargrove, Daniel Shafstal, and finally, Christopher De Leon. Students, please be seated. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I have the honor and privilege of making some special acknowledgments this evening. First, as many of you might know, the McCaskey campus has lost a member of its family. Mr. Sean Wampler, orchestra director of the J.P. McCaskey High School, lost his battle with cancer on May 22, 2006. The absence of Mr. Wampler's presence as a director, teacher, and friend has left a void in the spirit of the music department as well as the McCaskey High School campus. Mr. Wampler worked tirelessly to share his knowledge, talent, and passion for the enhancement of the fine and performing arts. He will be greatly missed. Let us all take a minute to silently reflect in honor of Mr. Wampler's legacy and memory. Thank you. Next, yes. <laughs> Next, it gives me great honor to recognize a group of people who have collectively served over 225 years as teachers in the School District of Lancaster, shaping the lives of young people. We ask that each would stand as I call his or her name and remain standing as we highlight some of their individual accomplishments. These are this year's retirees. First one is Mr. Donald Byerly. Mr. Byerly may not be here today, but I will recognize him. He served 35 and a half years as a mathematics teacher computer science teacher, National Honor Society advisor at times, computer club advisor, president of Lancaster Education Association for one year, nominated three times to appear in Who's Who in education. 35 and a half years, Mr. Don Byerly. Let's give him a round of applause for his service. Next, Mr. Doug Flick. Mr. Flick is probably serving in security, but Mr. Flick has served at McCaskey for 33 years he is, as a communication arts teacher. He's been an administrative intern. He's been a dean of students. He's bilingual. He also taught, did the teacher coordinator program at the Liberty Place, just an all around focused teacher. Done an, and has done an excellent job for 33 years. Mr. Flick, wherever you are, we thank you. Our next retiree, Mr. Frank Gray. Mr. Gray has taught for 33 years, has taught Spanish for two years, 31 years as a communication arts teacher at McCaskey. 
He was the Echo yearbook editor for seven years. He was department facilitator for 10 years, teacher of AP language and composition. He was a staff mentor. As a matter of fact, one of his mentorees is this young man, Irvin Scott. He's been an AP language and national evaluator for 13 years on the national level been an AP coordinator for seven years, co-wrote the application grant to establish the International Baccalaureate Program, recipient of the Johns Hopkins Gifted and Talented Teaching Award. For 33 years, he served us, Mr. Frank Gray. Ms. Susan Hafner. She's taught for 19 years total. Taught 10 years at Wheatland, nine years at McCaskey Campus, advisor to the National Junior Honor Society at Wheatland, advised the Burning Glass for eight years and done a wonderful job. Not only talented in the classroom, but also talented musically, a violinist and has, has played with the Pitt Orchestra at the Requiem here at McCaskey and has been a liaison for the department for three years. Let's give her a round of applause, Ms. Hafner. Mrs. Patricia, Patricia Kenzie. <laughs> Affectionately known as Pat Kenzie. Has taught for 25 years, over 25 years. Has, ta has taught communication arts, French, English as a second language, life skills, character education. Was editor for the JPM Update served as, as during the, for the student assistance team for six years at McCaskey, served on the practice random acts of kindness team at McCaskey, has also been very instrumental, was co-creator of the IMPACT program from 1996 and 1997, and it continues to serve students. Thank you so much for your years of service, Ms. Pat Kinsey. Mrs. Dolores Parcell. <laughs> Mrs. Parcell has taught for 17 and a half years. She was an advisor for REACH, a wonderful program for students. She participated in the mediation program. Uh, she say, served as a department liaison for several, year, for several years, chaperoned McCaskey students to Berlin and Germany received venture grants on behalf of students, chaperoned the McCaskey Ski, Ski Club to Vermont several times, just an all around student supporter and a student advocate and a great communication arts teacher, Ms. Parcell, thank you for your service. <laughs> Mr. John Valori. Mr. Valori has taught 27 years, taught social, study courses, social studies courses for 18 years, served as a gifted support teacher for the past nine years, taught US history, sociology, philosophy, criminal justice, and IB psychology. Advisor to the various Youth Day and government programs, senior class advisor for the classes of 1985 and 1989, advisor for the American Civil War Club, and advisor to the McCaskey Quiz Bowl team. For 27 years, Mr. Valori, we thank you. And our final retiree, Mr. Noel Robel. <laughs> Mr. Robel has served for 35 years, 
35 years of service, starting at the elementary level at Wickersham Elementary School, and then moving on to Burroughs Elementary School, and making a smooth transi transition to the high school, and conducting and being, of course, the wonderful person that he is. He served during that transition. He has a wonderful sense of humor. He was our athlete, he continues to be our athletic trainer, did a wonderful job as our athletic trainer. Whatever ailment students brought, he was able to heal and work on, and has a wonderful ability to interact positively with students. Mr. Robel, for 35 years, we thank you greatly. Two hundred and twenty-five years of touching lives. Let's give our retirees one more round of applause. Good evening. I've decided to share with all of you a story. I believe that this story contains a lesson that has carried many of us through our high school career and will inevitably carry all of us through the rest of our lives. I remember the night before my first day of high school. I was very nervous and excited and, I admit, scared all at the same time. When morning came around, I put on my nice little outfit and my mom made me take that picture in front of the house, you know, the usual routine, we've all done it before. I was surprised, however, that there was no one else at my bus stop. This was the first time I would be taking a public city school bus, and I didn't quite understand how it worked. I gathered my courage and got on the bus, took my seat, and watched my house as we passed by. It did not take me long to realize that I was not on the right bus. <laughs> there were no other kids my age on the bus, and very few that looked to be under the age of 40. Unsure of what to do and becoming increasingly frightened, the bus stopped and the younger kids on the bus got up. I followed them off the bus, asking if this was the stop for the high school, and they kindly said yes. I followed this group of kids, who I did not know, and walked the next four blocks until I saw the school. What a great way to start off my four years at high school, I thought to myself. I was already making a mess in a place I had never been to before. I wanted high school to be over already. It was not until recently that I thought of this day again. The fact that I started off high school on the wrong foot and have come to do great things that I could never have done at any other high school. Benjamin Franklin once said, there is nothing wrong with being wrong. It is simply the first step to being right. This could not relate any better to all of us as we face the rest of our lives. Like that dreary first day of high school, I began high school by doing something wrong and here, as we graduate, I recognize that we've managed to end up in the right place. We have all had experiences where we enter something challenging, something we have never done before, and are forced to ask without question. There will always be something scary and new that stands before us. Sometimes in life we make mistakes, but it is what we do with these mistakes that defines us, makes us who we are as human beings. At J.P. McCaskey High School, I believe that there is no lesson more important than this. We have all made bad choices, done the wrong thing, broken the rules, but we are here in the right place tonight because we have turned those mistakes into lessons that have helped us to achieve our goals. The road may get bumpy, and we may face situations that will try to bring us down, but as McCaskey graduates, we will never let this happen and will prevail through all tests. Here at McCaskey, we have dealt with real life issues. The most important lessons are not necessarily algebraic equations or literary techniques, but the raw pieces of everyday decisions. By receiving a McCaskey High School education, we not only graduate with the skills to succeed academically, but morally and socially. Our teachers have expected us to act like adults, and the rest of the world will expect nothing less. We leave McCaskey with the ability to communicate with anyone, no matter their age, race, or status. We are ready and prepared for the next decisions we must make in our lives. I'm sure we've all heard the saying, life's tough, get a helmet. Now, I can't tell you who the first person to say this was. All I know is that Eric Matthews said it on an uh, episode of Boy Meets World. This statement has so many meanings to it and can also teach us a great deal. 
just as the words of Benjamin Franklin can. Instead of having that proverbial helmet, all we have now to protect us from the tough roads ahead of us are our caps and gowns, our diploma, our education, the lessons we've learned from high school. Some of us sitting here tonight have already overcome so much. We can learn from these people who've had their lives turned upside down and are still here. Life is tough, but we have been taught how to deal with it. In our hearts, we know that we will miss our friends, our teachers, and our daily routines. This will be the last time we come together as a class to celebrate education and life. Cherish this moment. Here in this great place of learning, we have grown up. We have lost some people very dear to our hearts and have gained lifelong friendships. Our teachers have taught us all that they are able to teach us. We are all different, yet this is what brings us all together. We have learned from each other and can be confident as we move on from high school. We leave McCaskey experiencing the best and the worst, and we have made it. It is time to make something of ourselves. It is now up to us to carry on the lessons we have learned. It is time to get on that bus and see where it leads us. And even it's, if it's the wrong bus, we can be proud of the fact that we know what to do to end up in the right place. Thank you. Good evening once again. <clears throat> At this moment, I have the distinct honor of uh, bringing forward before you a group of people who graduated from this stage 50 years ago, the class of 1956. I ask that our distinguished guests please come to the front, the class of 1956. Nineteen fifty six was an era that to be remembered and to be recalled in history. There was a very important event that occurred that year that started a revolution. And I'm gonna play a little clip to it for you so you can understand what I'm talking about. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was Elvis. During that year, Elvis Presley's um, songs, Heartbreak Hotel, Don't Be Cruel, and Hound Dog made it to number one in the charts. That was also the year when Dear Abby first appeared, and Little Richard's Tutti Frutti was number one. <laughs> King Kong was televised for the very first time. The Wizard of Oz was on TV for the first time. In the theaters, the biggest hit of that year was My Fair Lady. And the biggest opera of the year was As the World Turns. <laughs> but enough of 1956, let's talk about this class in particular. The soccer team for this class excelled. The, the, the basketball team was third in the league. The swimming team went to the state level championships. The tennis team was huge with one of the members of the tennis team winning 32 matches in a row. There was an all school championship hockey field, uh, field hockey team. They excelled in academics with a huge not national honor society. And there was a very active social committee where dances, as I, as I researched, were very frequent, they, where they could share the swing and the start of rock and, rock and roll together. 
Some of the programs offered here back then were arts and craft, home economics, machinery, electricity, radio, hammer and saw, which I imagine is carpentry, and auto mechanics. Some of the, our distinguished guests have excelled in many ways, and I'm just going to mention a few of them. One of these guests was a member of our staff and retired as one of our math teachers, and that's Joe Stokes. Another one of the class of 1956, uh, Marion Nolte, is a former principal of Buchanan Elementary School. And Carol Long was part of that so very active social community with all the dances, and still seems to be very active, for she organized the class reunion and is a member of the Alumni Association. Let's recognize the class of 1956. <laughs> Thank you. And now we come to another special part of our program in which we recognize the Hall of Honor recipient. The Hall of Honor Award was inspired by an outstanding class of 1979. Over the years, it has become accepted as our most prestigious award. Faculty members nominate candidates for this award, and a selection committee determines the finalist. Criteria used to select the student include scholarship, school service, extracurricular activities, personality, and citizenship. In addition to receiving a certificate of merit, the winner's portrait will be hung in the main lobby at JP and in the office at East for a year after graduation. After that time, the portrait will become part of the permanent collection of the Hall of Honor winners. This year's recipient is described as a city kid who grew up in the heart of Lancaster and who represents the best of all McCaskey has to offer. The recipient is an officer in the National Honor Society a representative in student government, and has been a member of the orchestra. The student plays soccer and has earned LL League team honors. As a member of the powerlifting team, this student holds various world and national records in the age group. Every Friday, she volunteers in the emergency room at Lancaster General Hospital. She plans to become a doctor and will attend the University of Pittsburgh on a full scholarship. The student has one of the highest, if not the highest, GPA at the high school. It is my honor to present the 2006 Hall of Honor Award to Kylie Morris.
I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn. And we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes a sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, I have been changed for good. It well may be that we will never meet again in this lifetime. So let me say before we part, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship alone from its mooring by a wind off the sea, like a sea dropped by a skybird in a distant world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share, and none of it seems to matter anymore. Because I knew you, because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, faculty and students, friends and family. You have all come here tonight not only to see your loved ones graduate, but to witness the transformation of this graduating class. Tonight, my fellow classmates and I make the transition from teenagers to adults. And with this metamorphosis comes the responsibility for us to give back. Think about it, graduates. When you have grown older, we will want to see 
we want to be able to look back and take pride in all that we have accomplished. But if we do not share our talents with the world, the world will not share its treasures with us. You may be the most brilliant, beautiful, or charming person in the world, but if you don't share such traits with people in your future, what purpose will they serve? We are all put on this earth for a purpose. We are our own book, and high school graduation is the end of an important chapter, giving our story the necessary beginning to move the plot in many different ways. On the eve of this new chapter, I implore you to make use of your remaining time to continue writing the book in a way that the rest of the world wants to read and follow. We all have the responsibility to give back, for it is this act that keeps our world evolving into a new and better place. A person can give back in many different ways. We owe it to ourselves to advance our minds. This can be done in different ways, whether by using the knowledge gained from a further education, like college or trade school, or by joining the workforce. Whatever you choose, it is our responsibility as adults to extend our minds for the rest of our lives. Even something as simple as reading or learning a new skill gives us the confidence to move forward in our daily lives. We owe it to our family and friends to work hard and give them the love they deserve. We need to work hard not only to secure a better way of life for ourselves, but for those we love. By sharing our love with those that surround us, we are making the world a happier, healthier place, not only for ourselves, but for generations to come. We owe it to our communities to help them along a path of improvement. We can put our skills and talents to good use by performing acts of community service, which can be as small as voting for government officials or as large as contributing our time to needy organizations. Put your interests to good use and help someone. We owe it to the world to enhance our way of life. It is up to us, here and now, to make something of the education that has been given us. We have the opportunity to change what we don't agree with, and only when we take advantage of those opportunities will we be making a Marth worth being left. Tomorrow is a new day, a new beginning. We have waited for this special event for 12 years, and now that moment is upon us. All that remains is to take the leap. Remember that it is up to us to go forth and advance the world. Graduates, how will you make your mark? Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2006. Good evening. It is an honor to stand before you this evening, you, the J.P. McCaskey class of 2006. I had the privilege of addressing the graduating class three years ago, and that was an especially memorable evening for me because my own son was a member of that class. Today, my son is halfway around the world, studying in Russia. I tell you this because he has been the inspiration for the three lessons I am about to share with you. I am certain that his McCaskey education has made all the difference. Lesson number one. Be risk takers. Do not be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. When my son went to Russia in January, he entered a strange new world where he knew no one, was required to take all his classes in Russian, and lived in a postage stamp size flat with a Russian widow who spoke little English and fed him bowl after bowl of cabbage soup. <laughs> I think he's an off, awfully gutsy guy. Philip Adams, an Australian news columnist, wrote, It seems to me that people have vast potential. Most people can do extraordinary things if they have the confidence or take the risks. Yet most people don't. They sit in front of the telly and treat life as if it goes on forever. Don't find yourself sitting in front of the telly wishing that something extraordinary would happen in your life. Take that risk. Lesson number two, follow your heart, live your dream, do what you love and love what you do. You have spent the last 12 or 13 years of your life pursuing an education because everyone told you you had to. Your parents, your teachers, the state, now you get the chance to choose. Whether you choose to pursue a degree in higher education or you choose to join the job force, I urge you to follow your heart Live your dream. Bob Dylan said it best when he said, what's money? A man is a success if he gets up in the morning and goes to bed at night 
and in between does what he loves to do. It's quite possible that you don't yet know what your love or your dream is. That's okay too. Keep searching. When you find it, you'll know it without a doubt, and then you'll bring a passion to your work or studies, like the passion I hope you have seen in your teachers and coaches and mentors here at McCaskey. When my son first left for college, he thought he might pursue a degree in environmental studies, but second semester of his freshman year, he took his first Russian language class, and that May joined his Russian professor and a group of his classmates on a trip to Russia. He was awed by the beauty of the country and the culture. There he found his passion, and shortly thereafter declared a major in Russian area studies. Live your dream, the money will follow. Lesson number three. I have one final piece of advice for you, and it goes like this. Call home. <laughs> Whether you are halfway around the world, out of state at school, or just across town, remember to call home. If this is the only piece of advice you heed, then I have succeeded with my message. Your family loves you more than you can imagine. So wherever you go, whatever you do, remember to call your mom. I can guarantee I can guarantee you will always be glad you did. Your years of hard work and accomplishment here at J.P. McCaskey have pre prepared you well for the challenges that lie ahead. As you dream your dreams, remember to enjoy the journey as you seek the destination. Good luck and congratulations, class of 2006. Thank you, Ms. Brown. Dr. Bishop, it is my pleasure to present to you tonight the members of the class of 2006. These students have met the requirements for graduation as directed by the School District of Lancaster. These students are ready to leave our school family and take their place in our community. They are ready to make a positive difference in the world. Thank you, Dr. Bordeaux. It is indeed an honor to be able to extend my personal congratulations to the class of 2006. I am certain that there are many people who inspired and helped each member of this class, parents, family, friends, and teachers. I hope that each graduate will express his or her gratitude to those individuals. You know, graduation is a very unique moment. It conjures up every single emotion one can think of and, com and really combines them into one indefinable feeling of excitement, thrill, relief, sadness, and fear. And I can just about assure that one week from today that you're all going to wake up in a cold sweat because you've had a nightmare that you forgot to turn in your final paper. And this was all just one big dream. I want you to enjoy every second of this day, but when you wake up tomorrow morning, I want you to have your eye on the future. Cultivate your vision, take proactive steps. Remember that someday is not a day of the week. Seize your own future and move. You will make mistakes, learn from them. You will have successes, don't be satisfied with them. You will encounter heartbreaks, gain strength from each one. You will experience joy, appreciate it, and share it with others. Gail Shee said that growth demands a temporary surrender of security. Today you leave the familiar halls of McCaskey with all its familiar and beloved faces, and you journey into new worlds of opportunity. Give yourself choices, surround yourself with positive people, make a difference in our world, and create your own opportunities. When you wake up tomorrow, mo tomorrow morning, keep in mind, we never become what we want to be by remaining what we are. Congratulations, best wishes, and I wish you every blessing. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Bishop. At this time, we will present the diplomas to our seniors. We ask that members We ask that members of the audience respect that every family needs a chance to hear their child's name called. Remember, every family has a student that they love walking across this stage. We would like for you to hear their name called. Marshals will now present the class of 2006 as previously instructed. Nicole Ewan. Woo! Irvin Rivera. Woo! Marisol Renee Dixon. Timothy M. Mercandetti. Caitlin Marie Ackerley. Angel Tomas Amadovar Garcia. Erica Elise Agosto. Stephen William Allen. Grace Eulery. Jose R. Alicea. Erica N. Santana. Alejandro Alfaro. Chinese Christmas. Ahmad Akhmadov. Aaron McCullough. <laughs> Kevin T. Aguilera. <laughs> Sarah Kathleen Ekman. Oh, okay. Eklund. Yeah. Alan A. Allison M. Ortiz. <laughs> Daniel P. Adams. Ashley Marie Garcia. Charles Adams. Kylie Lucinda Morris. Christopher DeSanctis. Elizabeth M. A. Alfonso. Jaime Luis Arroyo Milanes. Quaylin Ballard. Nathan Bengu. Brittany Bear. Dominic Clemens Bensel. Marlene Arroyo. Andrew J. Bender. Arlene Arroyo. Kuitim Beganai. Jacqui E. Archie. Bashato. Bashato. Ruslan Bashato. Jennifer Aponte. Flavian Laporte. Jennifer R. Angelo. Jeffrey Lloyd Arnold. Miluisi Alvarado Acosta. 
Harold Anderson. Allison Francis Ospa. Jose M. Alvarado Padilla. Valeria Almeida Suarez. Mohammed Al Sharif Al Shamam. Kanika M. Alexander. Ryan Paul Almadovar. Keandra Bear. Jarrell A. Birch. Lucretia Bradley. Ramon Castro. Sherlina E. Boyer. Stephen M. Carter. Tracy Shanae Bowman. Richard Caldwell. Chevelle Bowman. Evan Paul Cagwin. Samantha Michelle Booth. Holden Brubaker. Jasmine V. Blackman. Kobe C. Brubaker. Ashley Lynn Bevancy. Justin C. Brown. Danielle Anneli Betancourt. Dante Boynes. Renette Bell. Bowman. Jeffrey K. Bowman, Jr. Ana E. Bejarano Buele. David Aaron Bowman. Olga Barron. D'Angelo Bowers. Liza Marie Chappelle. Eric James Dietrich. Brittany Karen Colbreth. Christopher M. Courtney. Heather Ann Clark. Adam Costello. Jesenia Chavez. Nicholas Colon. Erica Jasmine Chaparro. Joel Leonard Coble. Ruth Castro Magret. Tan Duke Chung. Zuleika Jasmine Candelario. Jose A. Chico. Aja Jani Banks. Aja Janae Burks. Kervin Cherry. Christina Lucille Bruno. Eric K. Chant. Shania Brown. Michael C. Chalfont. Heather Shailin Brown. Joshua Lee Salati. Tiana Ashley Brooks. Shamar Maurice Goins. Stevie N. Brubaker. Robert Diaz. Amber L. Costley. Emmanuel Diaz. Chanel Marie Dickerson. Peter J. Dorenzis. Asia Monet Easton. Martinez Dennison. Dariana Duvergel Valdez. Edwin Delgado Jr. 
Jaslyn Marie Dupree. Nathaniel D. De Leon. Vanessa Marie Delgado. Christopher A. De Leon. Jessica M. Davis. Arginus De Los Santos. Amy Michelle Nichman. Edgardo Davila. Monique Iris Cuevas. Francisco Javier Cruz. Rose L. Coto Nieves. Jeffrey D. Craig. Jesenia Yvette Collado. Dwight Hargrove. Tabitha Don Cockrell. Bruce Geter Richards. Jeter, huh? Catherine M. Cruz. Nick Gerlitsky. Elizabeth Figueroa. Adrian Garcia, Jr. Amanda M. Focus. Joshua S. Fromm. Lynette E. Flores. Dane Eloide Frederick. Megan E. Fisher. Michael D. Francis. Tania R. Figueroa Pacheco. Alexis Feliciano. Kelly M. Felix. Jose M. Evangelista. Lisa Figueroa. Kai Nai Duong. Jesse M. Eiler. Aaron Drum. Lisa Marie Emmerich. J. E. Dotterer. Sarah El Mui Mui. Tyler Matthew Kreider. Ashley K. Eby. <laughs> Lamar Shiraz Holland. Joan Cullen. Devin Shamar Hogue. Yvette, Yvette M. Glover. Daniel Q. Height. Kristen Blaine Gillett. Frank David Hernandez. Carla Gardner. Nafi Kwamid Harris. Jorgelina Garcia. Matthew Goff. Denisha Nicole Gantz. Mamelto G. Gonzalez. Christina Lynn Fulton. Rasheen Glover. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Fry. Daniel T. Glatfelter. Sorel Alexandria Fry. Brian W. Hamilton. Jennifer Franz. Felix Lemiso Libu. Blanca Franco. Andrew A. Krajan. Linda Lan Nguyen. 
Akeem Tyrone Jones. Suzette Garcia Lewis. Michael George. Marie Flore Yam. Tyrell I. Johnson. Jerlyn Jaginar. Benjamin D. Carl. Jaliana Izaguirre Valdez. Dante Johnson. Mia Janae Godwin. Goodwin. Wendorty Jean. Nakima L. Hargrove. Michael Hall. Andrea Janine Hardy. Michael S. Homsher. Vuli Lee Jeva Zamilak Hong. Ryan Leroy Little. Alicia Williams. Philmon Wadislasi Kiros. Shanae Williams. Edward George Kirchhoff. Amanda Marie Green. Timmy Kennedy. Ashley Marie Gray. William M. Kelly. Adriana Gonzalez. Bradley Kaufman. Olivia La Torre. Jason Cusino Mercado. Lisa Ann Lapp. Brian K. Joyner. Jessica M. Lapp. Antoine Mark Joyner. Jada L. Lane. Ricky Joseph. Tracy Lynn Crater. Luis Manuel Martinez. Kayla Kitch. Luis A. Lopez. Shannon Nicole Keefe. Luis Lopez. Shade Alisa Huarbe. <laughs> Irvin Lopez. Maite Jorge Casulos. James A. Logan. Krista L. Johnson. <laughs> Matthew Sergeant Lissy. <laughs> Carmen Nazario. <laughs> Stephen Raishan Lewis. <laughs> Erica Lynn Matia. Kyle DeMont Lewis. Janira L. Gonzalez Rivera. Long T. Lee. Jesenia Martinez. Yep, T. Lee. Jasmine Martinez. Louis G. Laboy Colon. Well done. Vanessa C. Martinez Garcia. Osmond J. Ori. 
Marta Lesley Martinez. Roberto Medina. Jackie M. Martinez. I got you. Douglas D. Mealing. Amy Maldonado. Mark Anthony McGinty. Sharon Brianna Williams. Richard Maust. Juliet S. Lopez. Ariel Martinez. Nicole Lee Livich. Remy Marte. Nikia Janelle Lee. Miguel Margarito. Amanda Lynn Rodriguez. Stephen J. Mapp. Niklet Kabibi. Mackinson Mallory. Tatiana J. Morales. Nicholas Lee. Melissa Montez. Nelson Lugo II. Catherine Montez. Philip C. Payonk. Jasmine M. Montero. Anthony Charles Olin. Jennifer Montalvo. Anthony Myrick. Jessica Molina. Colin A. Murray. Hanji Ma Maciel Mena Dionisio. Nicholas G. Muma. Lauren E. McCarty. David Emmanuel Morton. Nicole Catherine McEnany. Geraldo Morales Rodriguez, Jr. Brittany Nicole Mathis Cook. Edgardo Morales. Gracie Tyler Labiak. Anthony Montes. Emily Denise Pagan. Brandon Mitchell. Megan E. Wagoner. Curvon, right? Curvon M. Miles. Diodan Ormil. Jorge Melendez. Alexandra Nicole Ortiz. Jerome Poor Jr. Alexis Marie Oliveras. Charles Pinero. Ariana Viltres Quisado. Woodley Pierre. Dominique Madonna Nelson. Daniel Pham. Hope E. Nine. Juan Geraldo Perez Maldonado. Rachel Marie Wilcox. Miguel Angel Pagan. 
Kiri Luis Myers. Joseph Anthony Pagan, Jr. Kimberly LaDonna White. Nick Padilla. Amanda Lee Adams. Jarrell C. Owens. Melanie Elaine Tober. Brandon Ortiz. Lady Joan Pons Lugo. Edwin N. Omari. Vanessa Lynn Pino. Randolph Oliveras Jr. Melissa S. Phillips. Luis A. Salazar. Mariceli Perez. Joel David Reyes. Asalia Perez. William John Vernow Reese. Alyssa Nicole Pearl. Corey L. Randolph. Amy Lynn Pasker. Michael J. Quinones. Latoya Lois Parker. Jeffrey Preston. Brittany Ashton Parker. Cameron Nivon Powell. Tania Xiomara Pagan. Tyler B. Pope. Jessica L. Pagan. Emmanuel Pomales. Lisaira Malave Torres. Daniel Pomales. Amanda S. Rizzer. Raju Rayavarapu. Amanda Lynn Rainier. Carlos Manuel Sanchez III. Jade Nicole Riker. Chris Rojas. Santa Reyes Picardo. Picardo. Tyrone Rivera. Francisca Reyes Pichardo. Pedro Thomas Rivera. Yashira Jaisa Reverón. Jonathan Rosario. Damaris Vélez. Hector M. Rivera. Jesenia Ramos. David A. Rivera, Jr. Alexis M. Ramos. Angel M. Rivera, Jr. Brandy Preston. Alexander R. Rivera. Samantha Ashley Wilson. Jason A. Rios. Brian N. Martinez. Michael B. Sapone. 
Camise Lynette Rodriguez. Jeffrey Paul Shirik. Elena Princess Rodriguez. Glenn D. Wolf. Angeli Marie Rodriguez. Michael Christopher Scott. Liz Joanne Rivera. Anthony J. Sayeg. Suheidi Robles. Jonathan Santos. Lindsay A. Robinson. Charles M. Runk. Charlene Asino Robertson. Jonathan Prosado. Julissa Rivera Plaza. Ricardo Manuel Roman. Maria E. Villamar. Manuel Alfonso Roman. Stephanie Elise Rivera. Zach Snyder. Christina Marie Rivera. Christopher M. Toms. Suli M. Pacheco Martinez. David Tompkins. Amy Lynn Young. We T. Tien. Shania Whitehead. Bin T. Tien. Charissa Sanchez. Edward Gerard Wiesman. Melissa Leanne Ruoff. Daniel Suliveras. Sade Mone Rudolph. Juan A. Suarez Jr. Yuleska Marie Rosario Torres. Jermaine Smith. Sasha Marie Rosado. Mark M. Smeltzer. Felicia A. Romero. Amari, Amari. Amari Silva Nunez. Turquoise N. Roman. <laughs> Daniel J. Shafstall. Ruth Naomi Rodriguez. Jonathan Torres. Dominique Marie Williams. Ahmad Rashad Turner. Elizabeth C.Y. Hannigan. Christopher Tucker. Jessica Ramirez. Philip Lee Trimble. Alexandra Aurora Stamen. G. Tron. Holly Snow Steffi. An Tien Tron. Linda Sukas. William Torres. Aldrina Charday Wright. Pedro L. Torres. Corinne Lishan Woods. 
Tony Torellas. Shanice Lynn Winky. Jordan Tony. Kelly Nicole Laboy. Leander N. Tony Jr. Janie Aileen Singer. Caesar Anthony Westbrook. Eileen Sepulveda. Ernest Lee Williams Jr. Brittany Lynn Schickel. Sean M. Wesley Jr. Oriemi Santo Domingo. Nathaniel Zorak. Lorena Milagros Rodriguez. Wenger, right? Max S. Wenger. Jacqueline Lisette Torres. Ryan F. Weaver. Alexia Raquel Torres. Mark Wardrop. Stephanie Tirado. Romel Vivar. Romel Vivar. Genesis Tirado. Esteban Vidal. Faltida Turn. Andrew Joseph Vercal. Vanessa Tejada. Cesar A. Vasquez. Melinda J. Taylor. <laughs> Christopher Wint. Juldus Svanitza. Terrell C. L. Williams. Michelle A. Sutton. Jeremy Rivera. Tamara J. Stoy. Matthew Lee Jenks. Deisha E. Stewart. Janine Elise Rosario. Rosemary Van Unen. Ashley Zook. Rosaline Valdez. Natasha Tanay Tucker. Erica Nicole Travers. Kiera Q. Tran. Tania Torres Pichaldo. Sandra Onelli Torres. Rosa Lee Torres. Joanna Marie Torres. Jennifer Lee Torres. Christina Marie Santiago.
Tabitha Rivera. Tian Ti Le. Wilhelmine Reserve. Michelle Lopez Flores. Audrey Munoz. Patricia Lejano Guerrero. Patricia Ann Soto. Nicole Vasquez. Jasaira Valenzuela. Tamika C. Williams. Members of the class of 2006. By the power vested in me as President of the Board of School Directors and on behalf of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby declare you graduates of the Class of 2006 at the John Pearsall McCaskey High School, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Graduates, you may now transfer your tassel from right to left. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ashley Garcia, and I attended the College Prep Small Learning Community at McCaskey East for four years. I am the 2006 class president. This evening, I am here to pass a torch to the new class of seniors. For me, it is a great privilege and honor to participate in this traditional ceremony. As a representative of the class of 2006, I would like to publicly thank the School District of Lancaster staff who has made this possible for us. I would like to thank the class advisors, Ms. Shine and Ms. Brilla, 
for all the hours of hard work with our class. Also, I would like to give thanks. Also, I would like to give thanks to the class officers. You have done everything to make this possible here today. Tonight, people from all walks of life are gathered here to celebrate the success of this class. The graduating class not only represents students moving on to higher things in life, but also families who have never had anyone to pass their own torch down. Tonight, you are looking at the faces of a generation who had to ever overcome many obstacles and hardships in order to walk across the stage and move to the real world. Some have lost important people in their lives and others have been scared by tragic events along the way. But tonight, we stand here holding this torch as a symbol of victory. this torch represents you. This burning flame is what all of us have inside. We all have dreams and wishes for our future and for the future of the world. Now we have reached the end of the chapter in our lives and we are opening another. Everyone here will succeed. If we have made it this far, there is no turning back. Your flame will remain lit just as long as you continue to fuel it and not let wind or water put it out. Don't let anyone extinguish the flame in your lives. Live your dreams and succeed in life. My best advice for the class of 2007 is not to be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything or anyone that may stop you along the way. This doesn't mean losing respect for people. It means not taking no for an answer. Take advantage of all opportunities that may come your way to be better people and keep the pride of McCaskey alive. Tell everyone you are proud to be from McCaskey. I now pass this torch on to you, Samantha Short, the president of the class of 2007, wishing you the best of luck to the class of 2007. Work hard, don't let anything bring you down, and God bless. and the rest of the class of 2006. This is a distinct honor. I speak on behalf of the junior class of 2007. It is a privilege, it's a privilege. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is a privilege. <laughs> it is a privilege <laughs> and pleasure to accept this torch from the class of 2006. <laughs> this torch represents a group of students who sought after and achieved many great aspirations and goals despite numerous occurrences beyond their control. The number of tribulations this class had to suppress is an inspiration to us all. Thank you guys for all staying strong and fulfilling your goals of graduation. I promise that by our class accepting this torch, we will continue the legacy you've left behind. The legacy of resilience, academic fortitude, and courage. Thank you and congratulations to 2006 class. Thank you, Ashley and Samantha. 
As we bring to a close this evening of celebration and recognition, I would like to thank some of the key people who are responsible for making the ceremony possible. I would like to thank the, the chair people of the graduation committee, Suzanne Anderson. I would like to thank Helen Snader, who was in charge of caps and gowns, diplomas and tickets. She was assisted by her daughter, Kirsten. I would like to thank Alan McLeod and the resource officers for organizing security and parking. And I would like to thank Gerald Boyer and members of the math department who conducted the auditions for the student speakers. I would, I would also like to thank Terry Debray for running the sound system, the secretarial staff for doing a thousand uh, details, and the maintenance and custodial staff for all they have done. Please give them a round of applause. And finally, as your campus principal, I would like to leave the class of 2006 with these words from Mother Teresa as she told her students and gave her blessing before they left their training to enter a new life of service somewhere around the world. Mother Teresa gave these instructions. People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For in the end, it is not between you and others. It is between you and what you have to give to the world. At this time, please rise for the recessional. The class will now recess according to previous instructions.
hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away and be hopeful, hopeful, and he'll make a way. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay, cause we hopeful. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away and be home.